Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. A woman is dead after a car hit her as she crossed the street at Wadsworth Boulevard and West 19th Avenue. Police say the driver stayed on scene and was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol. No charges have been filed at this time. A Denver Sheriff's deputy is suspended without pay for nearly a month after using an inappropriate slur toward an inmate. Deputy Ryan Bosfeld is accused of asking an inmate a slur that you see on your screen here. The inmate responded saying he has autism and is slow. And tomorrow, people will line the streets around Civic Center Park in Denver to honor the men and women who serve our country. This is a map of the Veterans Day Parade. It'll run tomorrow. It starts at 10 in the morning. Right after the parade, there will be a festival in Civic Center Park. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo. It is a really pretty start to our Friday. Take a look at Loveland Ski Area. Last weekend, we had a lot of good snow in the mountains. Today, you're going to get some sunshine. So if you're heading up to the mountains today and tomorrow, some pretty good weather for the drive. We'll be in the low 30s here early on this morning. It was a cold start. Started off in the 20s, but this afternoon, some mid to upper 40s for highs. Denver right around 45 to about 47. It is still a good 10 degrees below that normal normal high and we're expecting to drop back down into the 30s by 7 o'clock tonight. Looking ahead to the weekend, Saturday is obviously the warmer of the two days. Mostly sunny but breezy tomorrow. Winds are going to pick up across parts of northern Colorado as this next cold front rolls in Saturday into Sunday. It's going to bring about about one to three inches of snow potentially for the metro area. So we are under a first alert action day on Sunday. Obviously cold and snow could make it a little inconvenient for the drive. Look at this warm up though, Molly. We'll go from 30s and snow on Sunday to near 60 by next Wednesday. Oh, those 60s are going to feel nice. All right, thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. And make sure you check back here later today for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.